Good afternoon. My name is David Gear. I'm a senior AEC technical specialist with ATG USA, and today I'd like to share with you some items about being able to use the copy, cut, and paste features in Revit and get the accuracy you want out of it. So if I want to come in here and take my uh, floor, I can come in and select that, grab it to the clipboard. I'm just going to come here to my 3D view, and I can come in here to my paste. I have copy from clipboard, align selected levels. Right now, align to uh, select views is grayed out, align to current view, align to same place, and align to pick level. So I'm going to say selected levels, and I'm going to go in here and choose all my other floors, and it's going to go ahead and place in those floor objects. If I come over to my uh, second floor here, and maybe I just want a particular room suite. So I'm going to go in here and select these items that I want to copy to my clipboard. And I'm going to copy those to the clipboard, and I'm going to come here to the fourth floor, and I can say align to current view and that places it right in the exact same place, except now it's on the fourth floor. I'm going to come up to the floor above, and I can also come in here, excuse me, I'm actually going to come in here to the north elevation, and I'm going to say pick, and say align to pick levels, and then I can come in here and select level five, and it places all those objects that I just had on my clipboard to that level. All right, so now what I want to do is I'm going to come back here and I'm going to close these out and come in here and tile these. And so I may have some dimensions and notes that I have from one sheet that I want onto another. Well, I can use my clipboard, and then I can come over here to my fourth floor and say aligned to same place. And I know that those notes and those texts are going to be exactly in the same place, and I don't have to worry about duplicating and then say setting the floor. And then one of the last ones I want to talk about or show you is the standard paste tool. So I'm going to come in here and again I'm going to select a couple of these suites here. Bear with me as I start picking. Yes, I'm sure I could have done a crossing and you know save myself some more time, but this is more about the, the copy and paste method. So I'm going to copy those and I am actually going to go create a new project. And then I can actually come in here and use the paste from clipboard here. Yes, I know they're the exact same thing. And I can move these around. If I had some line work or something that I wanted to align to, before I come over here and hit finish, notice I can actually use the move tool. And if I wanted to move that and align it right to that endpoint right there, I can. And then all I have to do now is I'm going to close that out just so you can see that a little bit better is I can use my move tool move it around I come down here to the south elevation I'm happy with that and I'm gonna go ahead and finish so there's just a few uh, techniques and tips for using the pace method and I'm hoping that those really helped you incre increase your pr productivity